Howdy, Kathleen here, the countertop diva. All right, other notifications. Very useful, very confusing. So I'm just gonna walk you through a demo. The point of these other notifications, and some fabricators find this super useful. They were looking for this and it took me a while to figure it out. They want to get a notification if anyone on the team changes an event. So someone adjusts the time of an install, someone moves it to a different day, or if they add a new event, if someone adds a new event, they want to get an, in, an email saying, hey, there's a new event. So um, unfortunately, email is the only option. The only option is none or email. So that's the first thing, pretty straightforward. I have my install calendar selected and I've gone through and say, yes, I want an email if for new events changed, canceled, and that's all I'm gonna deal with on this, on this video. <laughs> so again, I, this is only looking at the install calendar. The weird thing is I get these notifications only if somebody else makes a change to the calendar. If I change the calendar or this is, this is a reason not to let anybody else log in as you <laughs> if you don't if you want to get these notifi notices. If I change them, Google is thinks for me and says, "Oh, well, you were the one who changed it. You don't need an email." But let me go, I'm gonna to go to a different, I have a different browser open with a different user. And I'm gonna take this uh, install event here and I'm just gonna edit the time. I'm gonna move it up instead of 9.30, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make it nine o'clock. Now this user is not going to get an email because again, Google figures, oh, you don't need to get an email. Oh, and by the way, this user also did the same thing. Each user has to make those settings for themselves. So I'm gonna to go to the settings. Um, I'm gonna scroll down to the install calendar and notice this was a shared calendar. It wasn't mine to begin with, but I can still go to it, go to other notifications. And I do have, you know, I want to get emails of changed events. Okay, but I didn't get an email for that one because I changed it. Now, if I go back to the Countertop Diva, let's check my email. And sure enough, I did get an email saying, hey, that thing got changed. It used to be 9.30 and now it's nine o'clock. Great. But again, you can see why that gets a little confusing <laughs> because you sort of have to keep track of, wait, why didn't I get this? And the biggest thing is that every single user, I'm gonna go back here, has to go on, if they wanna get those notices, each user has to log into their own Google Calendar and select every calendar. So let's say, did I do it for templates? So now I gotta to go to template, other notifications, and look, I hadn't done it here yet. So I wouldn't have gotten any notification for changes, um, to my template calendar, but now I will. Now that's saved and it says it's been saved down there. So I, I did it, it's saved, I'll get those notifications. But again, only when someone else makes the change. Hope that proves useful to you. If you have any questions, cause that one is confusing, do feel free to email me Kathleen at the countertop, nope, no, no TH, <laughs> Kathleen at countertopdiva.com.